topic is conventional versus FHA. What's the difference? Uh, well, there's a ton. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these uh, as short as possible. My goal is uh, two to three minutes and that way people don't nod off and we don't cause any head injuries from faces hitting desks. From the guy who sits there and wants to go into detail for a half an hour about a conventional versus an FHA mortgage. So uh, here we go. A conventional mortgage is um, a mortgage that is over 50000 less than 417000 Some lenders will have a slightly higher or lower limit on that $50,000 end, but the $417,000 limit is pretty much hard and fast. These are commonly known uh, as Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loans. That's what everybody is really referring to when they say a conventional mortgage. It's just a regular loan. It has mortgage insurance if you're going to put less than 20% down, but it's generally considered to be a little bit less restrictive than an FHA loan. An FHA loan, FHA is a government entity, uh, the Federal Housing Administration. It is a loan designed to help people get over the biggest hurdle of home ownership, which is typically the down payment. Um, an FHA loan lets you put slightly less down than a conventional mortgage and the mortgage insurance is actually thrown onto the loan so you end up with a little bit less equity than you even started off with so comparatively to a conventional mortgage the day you move in you'll have roughly half the equity if you were doing a minimum down conventional versus a minimum down uh, FHA loan. It's not necessarily a bad thing it just is and it's the way that the, the loan's designed and you'll also spend less of your own money. Uh, an FHA loan is actually the original loan with mortgage insurance. Uh, it doesn't have mortgage insurance, it has MIP instead of PMI. Um, no, it's not a play on an acronyms, that's really the, the story behind it. But it is an insurance pool that uh, self-insures the loan against the, the borrower defaulting. And one of the main reasons people use an FHA loan is it has generally been considered to have slightly more liberal underwriting guidelines when it comes to credit history and it's definitely more liberal uh, when it comes to allowing a higher loan to value or a smaller down payment and each loan has its place um, there are people that think that they're FHA and we say a eh, conventional would be cheaper for you and there are people that think that they want to go FHA and turns out we can save them money using a conventional loan the important part is, is to compare both options with the particular property that you're looking at with your particular situation with credit scores. Uh, credit scores have come into play in a major fashion with conventional loans um, and they've become very discriminatory with their credit scores. I know that's not a politically correct word to be using nowadays, but it's just the truth. Um, they have interest rate adjustments, we call them HITS for credit scores that are below 700. Uh, actually they start at 740 nowadays. Um, there's a whole matrix but bottom line, summing it up very simple for, for me and for everybody else out there is that um, a conventional loan can have that interest rate start to jump up very quickly for a very normal looking credit report where FHA doesn't have the same type of requirements. So to sum it up, conventional versus FHA, the real answer uh, is what works best for you and let's talk about it and run credit reports and, and do an actual comparison side by side and see which one makes the most sense for your particular situation. Thanks.